Okay, phase one is to take this guy right here and connect it to the car. So this part here gets connected uh, and it should be fairly simple. There's four bolts here on the bottom. Right here you can see that there's four bolts. These are the four bolts I'm gonna have to tighten down in order to keep it on there so it doesn't jiggle around much. So this just slides in to this slot. And once it slides in, I'm going to take this lock here uh, and slide it through. Uh, it came with two two of these, one or three quarters and one's a, or one five eighths and uh, one's a half. I end up using the half because it's a little bit longer and I can actually send it through, push it through. So we just push it through, really simple. And then we'll put this on the other side. And then remove the key. It, the only way it goes on is if you have the key connected. Otherwise it won't, won't go on. Then we seal it so it doesn't rain to get to it. Now we just need to tighten up the four bolts. So for me, I got this tool here that has a uh, 18 millimeter uh, bolt socket on it. And that socket now is going to fit these four bolts. So the only way I can do it is getting down here, hand tighten it up first, which is what I'm doing here. So I'll hand tighten three of the bolts anyway. Then once I get them tightened by hand, I then will use this to tighten it more. And we'll just do this for each of them one by one. We'll have to go around a couple of times because when you tighten one, it loosens up the other two. Okay, good. Let's see if this here's tight. Yep. All right, so now it's, it's steady. So it's now been attached to the car. We just gotta go get the bike down and put the bike on it. Okay, the way I'm gonna put this bike in is we're just gonna set it up where it's right there next to it. And I'm gonna pick up the front wheel and put it on, on the rack. Once I get the front wheel on, I can then do the back wheel. So that's possible to do. It's just that it's not the easiest way to do. Since so it's not the way that part, you can do the reverse of this to get it down. To pull it down, and then hold this down to tighten up the back wheel, then you can pull off the front. So that's how you can get both. You can get it on that way. So the first thing is to set up the receiver, because once you get the bike up there, you need to strap it down so it doesn't fall. So this is the ramp. So this ramp here is good for this size car. This it gives a nice little angle. It's easy to push the bike up. Alright, so these are all the tools that I'll be using. put it together. So I got these. This type is I'm going to use in the back. And this type I want to use for the front. So we'll run it through here. Same thing with this one. Gets connected here. All 
All right, then these two things they come with are what we're going to use to hold the strap to it. So the way I'm going to use it is I'm going to strap it to the fork. I tried strapping it to the handlebars. That turned out to be a bad idea. Um, I'm trying to get this correct. Okay, so so here it is connected, and there's a loop. That's where we're going to put the hook on. We'll do this to the other side too. Take this, put it through. I don't drop it again. All right, so that got those two on. We got two of the bolts are on. These are going to be for the rear. here and down here and then waiting to be on the rear and this one to be the same but for the other side and there it is for the rear so those are going to be two things now all I'm going to do now is push the bike up and then strap it down now that we made the preparations for it It's pretty easy to get it up this ramp. Uh, it's much easier even than just picking the bike up. So if you're not strong enough to pick the bike up, you have this option. Or if you just want the easier option. And this you just roll it. So it's easier to roll than pick up. When you get it in the right spot, which we have front tire in the big spot there, we then grab our pre-selected things that we already have and then hook this in for one. Tighten up a little bit. Oops. Let me release this. Then we can tighten it up a little bit. And then we'll leave it there and then we'll do the same to the other side. Once you get both sides on, it's now not going to go anywhere. Alright, so I got that on. Tighten this up. Ratchet it a couple times. Actually, more than a couple times, but then... But now it's on there, it's not going to fall. It's supporting itself. So I'm going to connect it to the rear. Now these are different type of ratchets. So they work slightly different. It comes with this little thing here that you end up wrapping around. In my case, I picked this area to wrap it around. And then once you wrap it around, you connect the hook to it. And then you can start ratcheting it up close tight. And we'll do the same thing for the other one on the other side. Grab this part, loop it around, making sure we get the frame. Frame's the main thing to get. And then we tighten it down again. Once we connect it. Oops. And that's basically how you get it on. The only thing that's left now is for us just to tighten it all down. 
we'll start with tightening the front, but all of them need to be tight. And then when we get it tight enough, then we'll take this part that I made into a little thing and put it around the thing so it doesn't fall down. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Tighten it down. Take the little part and stick it around the front. Alright. And we'll tighten these two things down. Pretty tight to start with. We'll tighten this down will be our last thing to tighten down. And there. Bike's ready to travel, except for all the stuff that's on it that I probably have to take off. But besides that, it's steady. It's not it's not gonna move. Um, it's going nowhere. So that's how you get it on. So it's fairly simple, it's ready to go somewhere, and it takes you know, about 10 minutes for me from the beginning to till now okay remove this now this actually fits it has holes here it has a hole here it has another one here and there's uh, some some nuts right here you can see one right here and so uh, you would take this and I'm not going to do that now, but you would take this, set it right here, and those bolts go through those holes here, and then it clamps down right here. So, so that's how you carry it with you. Uh, although it makes a bit of noise, so you may have to put some type of padding on it so that it won't make so much noise beating metal against metal as you drive down the street. But right now, I plan to just carry it in my car. So. Uh, I don't have anything like that yet. Okay, once we get the uh, bike on here and secure, we want, with the straps, we then want to lock it down. So I have one of these locks here, which is, is rated 15, which I'll try to get the frame and the tire, the rear tire, uh, and the rack itself all captured. Uh, and that'll be a good secure for everything except for the front tire. And then normally we'd have something to connect to the front tire. Although this is too narrow to connect to the front tire. So uh, the best I could do is capture some, some of the uh, spokes, <laughs> which is pretty worthless. So I don't really have a method for the front tire yet. I'll have to buy something. Maybe get a chain that will work for the front tire. But you need to have something to tie it down. That way you'll have your back front tire secure, your, your back tire secure, and your bike secure to the rack. And the rack is actually secured by a lock also to the car. So unless they st steal the car, you should be fairly secure. 